So when we talked the other day, there were questions in terms of the right hand rule in determining directions and directions of rotations. So I have an example here dealing with different coils of wire. You've got the direction of the current marked. You've got the direction of the magnetic field mark, marked. You want to determine the direction of the torque and the direction of the rotation in each situation. Now, to make it maybe easier to think about, I've drawn the same loop twice. On the top is a circular loop, on the bottom is a square loop, but they are equivalent to each other in terms of what is happening, and the magnetic field is, direction is drawn in the center. So take a minute, pause the video, do your right hand rules, determine both the direction of the torque vector and the direction of the rotation for A, B, and C. You may not recognize the surroundings, but I'm back in the classroom for a few minutes to ponder and make some videos. So here we have the problem. Let's go through each of the right hand rules individually to be able to determine the direction of the torque and the direction of the rotation. So torque equals NIA cross B. First thing you have to determine is the direction of A. To be able to do that, you wrap your fingers of your right hand in the direction of the current flowing in the loop, and your thumb will point the direction of the, of the area vector. So on our first loop here, if I wrap my fingers around in that direction, my thumb points this way, even on the square loop. If I wrap, point my fingers, my thumb points out. So my area vector on each of these would be out of the board. Now, NIA cross B, A, I have to point my fingers in the direction of A and wrap into the direction of B. So then I rotate my fingers in the direction of B and my thumb points the torque vector. So then my torque vector on each of these first loops would be in that upward direction. So if you have a torque vector in an upward direction, you're going to rotate your loop around that way. So if I use the hubcap, we have to drop it. Okay, now if we use the hubcap, here's my hubcap, here's my loop. My torque vector is up in that direction, so I'm going to rotate in this fashion on each of those first two. Now, part B. Current is flowing in the same direction, so our right hand rule for the area vector. Area vector is still going to be coming out towards us. So then if the area vector is coming out towards us, okay, now we do NIA cross B. So then fingers point in the direction of A. Now I have to wrap to the direction of B, which means I'm going to have to twist my wrist so that I can rotate my fingers downward in the direction of B. So my thumb points over in that direction. So then on each of these, my torque vector is going to be over to the right. So if we grab our loop again, I have a torque vector over to the right. My fingers point in like this, so they push my loop to be able to rotate in this fashion. Part C. Now my current is flowing in that direction. So if I wrap my fingers around in that direction, my thumb is going to point into the board. And so my area vector on each of those is into the board. Now NIA cross B. Fingers go in the direction of A. I have to wrap to the direction of B. So here is A into the board. I wrap into the direction of B, so my fingers turn like this, and my thumb is pointing diagonally upward. So then the torque vector on each of these is in that direction. So if the torque vector is like that, I'm going to rotate the object like this. So if here is our loop and our torque vector is going up like that, 
okay, then my hubcap is going to rotate around kind of on that diagonal axis in this fashion. So it's rotating so that this side is going away from us and this side, the bottom side, is coming towards us. Bonder physics.